The Words of This Life with Apostle Grace Lurella. Satan saw Job walking in the fear of the Lord and he asked in his head, he's saying there must be a reason why this guy fears God. God is boasting over the guy's reverence. Have you considered my servant Job? You know, there's none like him in the world. Perfect, upright, and righteous. He's perfect, he's upright, he's righteous. That's how the guy is. This is God boasting. The Bible says he rejoices over us. And so, it's one of those days God is rejoicing over who? Job says there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and eschewers evil. He was asking, have you considered, have you thought about this guy? You know, praise the Lord Jesus. Now, that's the nature of the father. Every father must boast over his own. And then Satan says, uh-uh, you think he fears you for nothing? Touch every thing of him. The only reason why that guy fears you is because you've put a wall around him and over everything he has. I tell people, when God says you're under his protection, even your shoe is under his protection. Even your capen, that capen you left in class with little ink, the moment it has ownership over you, to that extent, he says, you have put a wall of protection around him and his home and his property. Everything you own is handy. Hallelujah. That is why when the psalmist is talking about your protection, he says, surely he will deliver you from the hand of the snare. Surely he will deliver you. Surely. As in, this is, it's not even something you debate over. Surely he will deliver you. It's not even something you debate about. Listen, whatever you're going through, surely God will deliver you. Surely. You must have a sure foundation in your spirit that there is nothing I'm going through that God is not going to what? Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fall. Surely. That is like, surely he will. Surely. As if your deliverance is not even supposed to be something you worry about to that level. Whatever you're going through, you cannot even think you'll stay in it. It doesn't matter how bad. It doesn't matter how bad it is. You'll come out of it. You see, that is why you must enter life with that confidence. Surely in You understand? You're going through something, but you're sure that you'll come out. We are not on us to survive. He came that you might have life. And life to the fullest. In his presence with Fenero Ministries International this 31st December 2017 at the Lugogo Cricket Oval from 6 p.m. A night of open heavens, signs, miracles, and wonders. Fenero, make manifest.